Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this year we're taking a look at Rectify 11 version 3.2. Now Rectify 11 version 3.2 brings many changes, most of which are under the hood, but there's some over the hood changes that we'll be taking a look at today. The Rectify 11 website has been completely, like, mysterious, where it now, instead of bringing you to an actual website, it takes you to, like, a Windows 11 getting started, like, page. And it basically just says, hey, coming soon, but there's also a download link for version 3.2. What I can gather from their GitHub page is that version 4 is going to be relatively big, and they're kind of going to make a big deal out of it. But in the meantime, four days ago, we were gifted version 3.2 that I have right here. So this is Windows 11 version 23H2. It is the latest build, all the latest feature updates, all the latest patches. And we're going to go ahead and double click on this and install Rectify 11. Now something to note, Rectify 11 requires desktop runtime 8.0.7, which if you don't have it, it will guide you to do that in the actual installer, but I already downloaded that. Um, you also have to disable Windows Defender, which is okay, because you can re-enable it after. I already went ahead and did that, I turned, ooh, it turned itself back on, there we go, now it's off. And I'm going to hit next, agree, and we're going to go ahead and check everything. We want all the goodies here, including all the icons as well as the extras and the themes. I'm going to leave everything as default because I don't want to, you know, be picky here. Uh, we're not going to create a restore point and then I'm going to install. And that was it. The good thing I like about Rectify 11 is it's not an ISO, it's an installer. And it's very open source. I mean, you can see everything and it's it's a it's an installer. That's what I mean. It is in no way shape or form an ISO that you don't know where stuff is coming from. And you have customization over what goes into this with those check boxes that we just had. So I'm going to go ahead and let this install. It's going to take a list a little bit, but then we'll be able to go in and take a look at Rectify 11 version 3.2 and see what's new from the previous versions we've taken a look at. All right, and now Rectify 11 is asking us to restart our computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click restart now, and it's going to go ahead and reboot straight into Rectify 11 version 3.2. I'm personally very excited to see this. Um, you know, we've taken a look at almost every version of Rectify 11 on this channel, and this one was actually recommended to me by a viewer in my comments on one of my recent videos. They asked if we could take a look at Rectify 11 version 3.2, and you know I have to take a look at it, especially because we've been continuing taking a look at this on this channel. Here we are inside of Rectify 11 version 3.2, and this is actually pretty much doing my entire job for me. It's giving us a little rundown on what's new in version 3.2. Settings, theme switching, a smoother UI, and better file explorer. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, let's start off just, just right here in this window. Let's take a look at the new Rectify 11 settings. Um, so this actually opens in control panel, so it's not like a totally separate app. It's built into Windows, actually. Um, and we can change the theme and so like if I wanted to go dark theme with mica I just hit dark theme with mica and then it switches over and everything looks beautiful And then we can click change settings that are unavailable and then we can go ahead and change all sorts of things here So you do get that element of customization Easy theme switching you can switch themes right from your taskbar But I don't actually know like where that is is it there it is so we can go ahead and click I'm gonna actually drag this down here you can click on this little icon here, and then you can switch themes, you can start Rectify at Logon. I just quit it. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but hey, that is down there. There's also a smoother UI that allows you to uh, make UI animations smoother, as well as just kind of add some new animations in. And finally, there's a better file explorer, but it's only available on Windows 11. And we can see that right here. So by default, as you can see, there's this little, I don't even remember what this is called, but it shows you what you're selected, this little colorful one over here. Um, and then as you'll see, when I click on things, you can see the animation when I click. It just kind of comes down. I don't know if I like that, but it's smoother than, than nothing that's there right now. Then of course, I mean, you saw this folder is empty. That looks much different from the current Windows 11. And of course the font, but that's always been there in Rectify 11. So that's really the major features that we just took a look at. Now for those who haven't seen Rectify 11, let's take a brief look around the OS. So we can see the Rectify 11 Control Center, which is just the control panel window. Uh, it's just a shortcut. This one says Control Center, and then the other one says Settings. It's very confusing. Moving down to the taskbar, we saw what it put in our taskbar, but I accidentally closed it and I don't know how to get it back. Um, by default, there's nothing else really in our taskbar. Um, and we can see 8 Gadget Pack, which we'll take a look at in a minute. And then, I believe, yeah, Rectify 11 Control Center, 
was added. Nothing else was really added here though. Now one thing our right click menus, our context menus are different. As you can see, the D in Windows 11 you know like copy, cut, delete, and rename are at the top. They've now been moved into the menu, kind of how they should be. Furthermore, if I go to, let's take a look here, more options, we can see the rest of our options. And this just is themed different. It doesn't have the mica effect, but I do believe that there is an option to enable the mica effect in the actual control center. Yep, there it is, enable mica. Um, moving down, if I right click on the taskbar, we can see that we actually gain more options like Windows settings, taskbar, taskbar settings, settings, and desktop. Pretty cool stuff. And then uh, if we go ahead and right click just on the desktop, we can then see the gadgets button. So when I click gadgets, it's going to prepare a gadget pack for the first run. And then we can go ahead and put gadgets onto the desktop. But unfortunately, gadgets aren't loading right now, which kind of sucks. I don't know why they're not loading. Maybe it's not working. Um, but yeah, this kind of looks like, let's see, all gadgets. Yeah, it's not loading for whatever reason. Um, I mean, maybe I try again and just see what, yeah, no, it's broken. Um, and of course, like I mentioned before, the one thing I really like about this is that this is Windows 11. Like I installed this ISO and you can run this on pretty much any version of Windows 11, any edition, you're not locked down to a pre-assigned or pre-made ISO that you don't know what's in it. So that being said, thank you for watching this brief overview of Rectify 11 version 3.2. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.